Good evening, beautiful people. How are you? Welcome once again to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking and thank you for stopping by. Yes, so today is just going to be a strolling. Let me just do some exercise. Yeah, I know um, you can see me with all these bags and all this stuff, but uh, actually, I have to take this bag because in Malaysia here, rain can fall anytime, okay? So I'm not going far. I'm just strolling around my area. Those of you that have been following me for some while now, you already know I have an idea of my area, right? Around PJ or something like that. But I'm around PJ. I don't really stay in KL. I stay in uh, Petalingjaya area. So yeah, the cloud is so beautiful this evening. Anyways, before we start scrolling, uh, if you are new to the channel, ensure you're subscribed, okay? And hit the notification bell so that you can always notify anytime I upload a new video, okay? Yes. Thank you so much for all of you that have always been watching. I really appreciate you. Anyways, let's get started. We're going to stroll around and I'll tell you some sweet stories. <laughs> Okay, so right now it's around after 6 in the evening and uh, like I told you, this is PJ, Petaling Jaya. There are different sections. They have section 17, slash 43, 41, 42, like that. You know, the way Malaysia arrange their houses, like let me show you. Can you see? That's, uh, this one now is um, what? 17, 41, right? So yes, and a lot of constructions are going on at that site, but it doesn't really disturb the areas. So I will show you how the houses are. I don't know why you clicked the video, but maybe it's about the houses. I'm going to show you some um, buildings and all that while we stroll. I will just stroll around. My side is around that side at the back, really, somewhere there. But um, let's just stroll around. So really, I like the way they do their houses in Malaysia and everything is just so organized that um, you can easily locate anywhere you are going. Like, for example, if uh, maybe you need food delivered to you or something like that. It's just so simple, very, very simple to actually get the location because of the way the houses are uh, arranged. And um, where I stay or this area, they are more of um, flats, okay, like flats, not really um, condo. I've stayed in condo before. I've, I think I've experienced almost all the kind of housing in Malaysia. Yeah, because I've stayed in the condos there's a tall ones. There's one close to us. Let me show you. Can you see? Rian and um, Mio. Let me zoom it. It's new. I knew when they started building that place, actually. And they said ready to move in in 2021. So if in case, <laughs> I'm giving them free advertisement. In case you want to live around this side, there's actually a new condo, but I don't have idea of the prices. So yes, they have very tall buildings because they really try to uh, minimize space in this country. By the way, guys, before I continue, I hope I'm safe like this because I'm not covering my marks because nobody's with me. I'm actually on the road, so I think it's okay, right? I'm still observing the social distancing and all that. Yeah. If somebody's with me, then I need to cover it because there's heat, right? Really serious heat. So this place is not really so public like that just me. I want to cross the road. Where should I even start the strolling from? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, as I was telling you guys, in Malaysia here, they have different kinds of housing. But the one that is most common is the type that I just showed you, the, the condo, the tall, tall buildings, right? Those are the ones that are more common in Malaysia. Uh, yeah, but you also have landed properties, which is where I'm staying now. The first time I came, I stayed in a, in a condo kind of building, okay? The tall buildings. In fact, I was living in floor 17. <laughs> Very tall. When I told my people at home, my siblings, I'm staying in floor 17, they were like, wow, hope I will not fall down one day or something like that. <laughs> you understand? So yeah, it's just so beautiful uh, because the, the strategy here is amazing. And Malaysians, they actually have a very good uh, what do you call it? Maintenance culture. Yeah, they have very good maintenance culture. I'm trying to cross the road really because the road is not so busy, but partially. Maybe if this guy goes, I will cross. Let me see. So that I go to the other side that I can easily walk. Then I will get to the International House side also. Uh, this video is a little bit interesting because it's like vlogging, pure vlogging. 
and I like the weather this time around. It's so cool and so clear. Uh, oh my God, this is the problem. I'm not concentrating on the road, I'm concentrating on my camera. Okay, let me just wait. Okay, now I have crossed. So there are two ways. I can either go that side, I can either go that way, or just go like this, okay? There are two ways. So I think I'm going to go this way and come out from the other side there. Yeah, that's how it's gonna be. So let's get going. So yes, like I was talking about the accommodation, right? I said I have experienced almost all kinds of accommodation in Malaysia. And I can tell you how it feels to live in any of the accommodations here in Malaysia. For condo, if you decided to choose a condo, like the tall buildings, they are very nice, they are very neat, they are okay. But most of them actually, you have to uh, pay for the whole house, you understand? Some of them actually come as uh, fully furnished why some of them come as uh, partially furnished and there are some that actually come without any kind of furnishing okay so but you you get according to your pay isn't it <laughs> according to what you pay that's what you get for accommodation here please comment down below because we have people that may be thinking of coming to malaysia or they are even in malaysia and they are looking for a better accommodation please give us ideas of where they can get good accommodation especially students so yeah that is the the condo i'm talking talking about let me take a picture here. You guys can see. I knew when they started this building, guys, like three years ago. No, not up to three years, maybe two years. But now it's already coming to completion. It's so beautiful. And more constructions going around. So they really uh, have a good uh, building structure in this country, like building culture, if I may say, building culture, yeah. It's just so beautiful and yeah, maintenance is good. I stayed in Kondo for two years, actually. One the first time i stayed in one condo where was uh, where i was actually staying in 17th floor then the other time i stayed in another condo where i was actually staying on the 20 something floor i think 23 if i'm not mistaken so that one was in damansara the first one was close to, closer to my school it was called esanria condominium yes so uh it's beautiful really there's swimming pool there it's like exclusive kind of area right but of course, anywhere that's exclusive, also <laughs> you have to talk about the money, right? So you can see how cars are arranged and parked. Like in Malaysia here, they don't really have this kind of secretive attitude so much. Of course, in some places, yeah, you're going to see like maybe houses with fences. Even where I'm staying, there are fences, but it's just small. That like the fence, you can just, a little child can even climb. <laughs> you understand? So unlike from where I came from, the fences are like very high and very big. So you get, but these ones here, their fences are quite low. My friend, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> this guy, I always buy something from him. Do you have anything for me? Let me just say hi to him quickly. Uh, this is where I buy my things, very close to the house, this side. This shop, I usually buy everything from here. They are fish and everything. So if you are staying around this side, you can come here. How are you? Yeah, I'm today. <laughs> today, today is Aydin. What's up? Okay, today I'm doing my video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are my very good friends and they sell everything. I buy all my stuff here really, actually. This one is, um, this is tofu. Bean cake. Bean cake. Okay, so this is bean cake, guys. From soya milk. Oh, very, very healthy, this one. Yeah. I usually buy this one every time. If I come back, I will buy. And uh, yeah, tomatoes, everything. Where's my other friend? Where that guy? Boss, boss. <laughs> okay. So this is the small shop I usually get stuff, actually. They have a lot of things. How are you, boss? Oh. <laughs> What's up? You can see this small shop. They even have this thing, guys. Yeah, this is the shop close to my house. Let me check my temperature. Mm. So I check my temperature. This, you can see. Oh, what happened? Shows low. Oh, okay. Maybe because I... I, <laughs> I don't know what to rate this, but... Okay, it's good, lah. Sorry, you want to go? So, yeah, I just said, let me show you guys where I do my shopping. Okay, bro. Bye-bye. I will come back later. So, yeah. That's it. 
you have the convenience stores almost everywhere. And uh, okay, bro. Okay. Thank you very much. Say subscribe. Say subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe this channel. <laughs> Where your hand lies. Ah. <laughs> okay. Don't forget if you guys don't forget your don't mark. forget your marks. Yes. Ah. And if you guys come here, he will give you discount. Ah. Come on. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. So, you see, they are very friendly, very nice. Almost everything you need, you can actually get really close to the houses and not just this place. That's how most of the places are like there are different shops around, you know, and there is one place we usually get water or something. That's one. I don't know if you can see. There's a machine there. That one, the water machine. Yeah, that one. You will just put the coin there and get our water. Drinking water. That's if you don't want to buy the one in the keg or already in the containers so yes these guys they sell fruits actually at that side so i'm already used to this area really that's why you say i can tell you everything you need to know and of course uh, the place is secured that's the roadside just there you can see and we have some um what do you call it Apart from these normal petty petty shops, there are some mini malls around, okay, and the bank also. So housing in Malaysia is balanced, that's what I'm trying to tell you practically. I will have just done a sit-down video, but I felt it is more effective to do a video, okay, where you guys can actually see me and see the surroundings. Okay, so I will soon navigate. I think if I see any other shortcut, I can navigate from that side. I want to show you guys the uh, International House of Investing Malaya. Okay, that's my university actually. I don't stay there. Yeah, I think it's, <laughs> it's for big people. As they say, international, right? I assume I'm now a local in Malaysia. At least I've stayed in Malaysia for three years now. And um, yeah, I can live within. But if you're just come, maybe like exchange student or you don't know your way around in Malaysia, I think you can actually stay in the international house. Although it's not so cheap, like I said. So... Let's go, let's go, let's go. So these are residential areas look like in Malaysia for my own area here in PJ. KL may be a little bit different, I don't know. Those of you that are staying around KL, let us know. And if you're talking about the price, because I know some of you are gonna ask, what is the cost of living, like renting these houses? So like I said, it depends. If you are, you see there's a bank there, CIMB and other uh, shopping stuff also. Jaya One is not far from here also, it's just in the front. So like I said, uh, if you are going for the condo, let's say you are going for the condo, you can get condos of 1,000 something, okay? 1,000 something around, uh, what do you call it? Around KL area. Also in PJ also. PJ is not like a cheap area. It's not that cheap like that, but it's still better compared to KL, I think. Because PJ is also a very beautiful place, you know what I'm talking about, right? And it's industrial. So basically, industrial areas, the house rents may be a little bit expensive, okay? But yeah, then if you are maybe per room, depending on the nature of the room, maybe room with self-contained, right? Room with bedroom and all that, you may be paying like 400, 500, okay? If it's a, if it's a sharing kind of uh, accommodation. But for condos, for condos, actually, you pay like maybe 500 or so. Within 500, 600, yeah, you can get uh, a condo room. So the whole condo, sometimes you can get 1,000 ringgit, 1, 2, 1, 5, even 2,000, 2, 5, depending on your taste. If it's furnished, you can get from around 2, 5, yeah. Per month, though, <laughs> not in a year. In Malaysia, we pay our rent per month. That's another funny thing you need to uh know so that's it i'm feeling it guys i have to put these marks down like this because i'm i'm not i'm the only one here so i don't think that's a challenge uh i have a lot of social distancing you can see nobody's at my back so yes okay i finally got to the international house but i want to show you the front side but anyway this is the back of the international house can you see uh university of malaya international house can you see that it's so big. We're going to go to the front also, and I'll show you where uh, our school bus usually stops. 
and also the general boss also. I hope I will reach that side. I don't want the video to be too long. I don't want the video to be too long. There's an hospital here. It's called Columbia Hospital, just around that side, not so far. I think I will see it. So I've strolled a lot. The purpose of this video really is to show you the accommodations around and to discuss about it practically, okay? And to have an idea of what they look like within an area like this. So, but in KL, you can get very, very exclusive, expensive accommodations. The word expensive goes with exclusive, right? That's the hospital I was talking about. Can you see? That one is called uh, Columbia Hospital. So everything is near you, but I think it's private. If you want a public hospital, you can definitely get some in town, not so far. And um, yeah, so that's the international house. Once again, I will come through the front and go back home. Okay, I will just show you guys the front. Everywhere is connected. That's the good thing about Malaysia, like the roads. Oh my God. If there's anything I love Malaysia for so much is the easy navigation. When I mean easy navigation, even if you're driving and you don't know where you are going to, I don't think you can get lost in Malaysia. I doubt. If you get lost, the something, the, 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 the goggle, whatever, or the waves will reroute you and redirect you. You get the point now. So I have to wear this thing now so that, because now it seems I'm coming towards the roadside. <laughs> now it's a great challenge. So you see, University Malaya International House. That's my university. This is section 17 slash 1A, the area I am currently. So I've really walked a lot. So yeah, that's the road again. Can you see? That's the roadside again. And uh, yeah, Malaysia is just so beautiful. A lot of houses around for you to choose. I will do another uh, housing part where I will take you to other residential areas. Maybe I'm going to negotiate with the residences and the landlords so that I can take you like inside and all that you get. Maybe in some of the condos, in some of the condominiums, if you guys are interested, let me know in the comment section below. So that those people that are looking for accommodation, we can easily give you a show or a taste of how it looks like. I'm getting tired, guys. So, yeah, there's a bus stop around that side there, a bus stop around that side there where we usually wait and follow the bus that takes us to the university, okay? Uh, since the International House is here, so the bus usually passes somewhere there. So let me show you how the International House looks like very well now. I'm just directly in front of the International House. So that is it. This is University Malaya International House. It's so big. And uh, yeah, I have an idea of their prices actually. It's not so cheap, but it's okay. I think one room, one house usually, is it 900 or one room 900? I don't even know. Is it one room 900? If you are a University of Malaya student watching and you know the price, please let us know in case of students that may want to come and they're looking for accommodation. Oh, I'm thirsty. I think I'm going to buy something in front. I can see a small shop there. And that may be the end of this video. Now you have an idea of houses. I've taken you around and I've walked you through. You have seen some residential buildings, okay? And uh, corporate buildings also. Just in this area, okay? This is just for this area. There's even playground there for the, in case if you have children and stuff. Okay, can you see clearly? Ruma Antara Bangsa. International house. For those of you that said I should go to Bangsa and all those places, yeah, I'm still going to go there, don't worry. So I'm still going to go there. For those of you that want me to go to other places, I'm still going to go there, don't worry. Uh, it's just a matter of time. I think the weekend, I'm going to try to go to some of the places you have mentioned. Some of you said I should visit Bangsa. It's not like I've not been to Bangsa before, I've been there, but I think I need to go there again. Anyways, let me get a drink in front, if they have, because the heat is so much. So, so, so much. Please drop some comment down below before you go, okay? Drop some comment down below about what you think about accommodation in Malaysia and uh, where you like to recommend uh, for maybe new people to, to live. Yeah. Hello? Uh, please, do you have drink? Do you have drink? Yes, cold, cold one. Just a drink, yes. I, I'm, I'm walking. 
One. So I, I just saw a restaurant nearby. I just want to get a drink. How much? Ice. So I wait for them to give me the drink. It's just like a small restaurant by the side here. Okay, guys, so I've gotten a drink. <laughs> and my friends, they are so shy. I don't know why they don't want to show their face. But anyways, I've gotten my drink already and uh, I will be going. So if you are living around, you can come here and get food. You will get all you need. I'm so thirsty and yeah, I just need to get this. Uh, this is lime. Okay, guys, so I think I have to go back now. I will just troll back uh, from here. This place looks so bright. Wow, the quality here is excellent. Very excellent. Okay, I feel refreshed now. I feel good. <laughs> I feel so good. So what do you think about the housing here in, can I say Malaysia or PJ? This is just an area, okay? You know, this is just a city and just a part. This is just section 17 area. There are many, many other accommodation areas here that are so beautiful to behold, okay? All these ones are just like, maybe according to your taste, I think most of the houses here are actually like private, if I'm not mistaken. They are more of private houses. Yeah, although some of them let it out. That's why we also are staying in an area like this. If you want to go to where you will see a lot of like let outs, then you go to those condominiums. Okay, those ones are more of rented out apartments. But of course, for those who have the cash, <laughs> How are you? For those who have the cash. Anyways, the cloud is so clear and it's so beautiful in Malaysia at this time. And um, I hope you have enjoyed what you have watched. Uh, I will soon end this video now so I can just walk peacefully back home. Thank you so much for watching till this time. And ensure you're subscribed to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you can always be notified anytime I upload a new video. And until I see you next time, stay safe. Stay positive. Don't let anybody steal your joy. Much love and God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Where do you want me to go next? Comment down below. <laughs>